I'm going to show you how to take a small amount of money and recycle it multiple times, scaling up a real estate portfolio. Ryan, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'll be your host today, James Wise. Now, I am working with my client, Ryan. Ryan is a young cat, new investor, and he's got a little bit of cash to play with. And I'm going to be showing him how we can best invest that cash, get some return, get some rental properties under our belt, and then take that cash back and make a move on the next property. And we're going to do that with a strategy that I call the Burr strategy, right? It's called Burr because it's B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, all right? The B stands for buy, R, renovate, rent, refinance, and then my favorite part, repeat. You repeat the process because you're getting your money back out, right? And uh, it's not the easiest strategy in the world, okay? It's tough. takes a little bit of work. takes some uh, doing. You got to put in offers. You got to find distressed properties. You got to get properties for the right price. You have to understand renovation. You got to stay on budget. You got to understand how appraisals work, things of that nature. But if you pull it off, you can make a bunch of money. I've successfully utilized this strategy quite a bit in my career, right? You know, when I started investing in real estate, when I bought my first house, I was managing a Radio Shack. I was a 21-year-old cat. Yeah, you don't make a lot of money managing Radio Shack. I don't know if you guys notice this or not, but there ain't no Radio Shacks out there anymore, right? But, uh, you know, fast forward over 10 years. Dude, we're crushing it. We're doing a hell of business. We're running a $50 million portfolio out here in Cleveland, right? So you you can do some big things with this strategy, right? You work your money right. So let's talk about this property I found for you, Ryan. 3411 West 46, Cleveland 44102. Listed, long time on the market, 140 days. That means this sucker ain't moving, and that's why I targeted it. Reason it ain't moving, the price is too goddamn high, 54900 Now, it is currently tenant occupied, okay? Let's read what the listing agent said. The listing agent is a cat out of DSL Real Estate Services. Ready, set, cash flow, low taxes. This tenant occupied three bedroom, one bathroom home offers several recent upgrades in recent years, including updates to the electrical, some newer windows, furnace, and hot water tank replaced. Freshly painted, this property makes for low maintenance, easy cash flowing opportunity. Whether a novice, experienced investor, or owner occupy and make your own, there is a great opportunity here. And then I was a little confused by this. Uh, Next sentence, because it just contradicts the, the opening, but it says, don't miss this opportunity. Four bedrooms, one bath, living room, dining room, eat-in kitchen, full basement with laundry hookups, paved driveway, fence backyard, rent 700 per month with the same tenant for over 10 years. So is it a three-bedroom? Is it a four-bedroom? I don't know. I'm going to assume it's a three-bedroom because that's what the he's got it in the description first and then up here. It also says it's a three-bedroom, and we're going to go ahead and go in there. Uh assuming the worst case if there is a fourth bedroom that's a bonus we'll be able to get our market rents even higher now let's take a look at the pictures right because it talks like this thing is turnkey but i'm talking to you about doing a burr because this this ain't turnkey dude this is what you know it's great that they did the furnace and the hot water tank that'll save you some money but there's definitely gonna be some issues with this home right it looks nice cosmetically but i need to take your attention to this dude Right here, you see that? That is a drop ceiling, okay? And that is a red flag that there's some issues. You should never see a drop ceiling anywhere other than the basement, right? Here it is, continued over the dining room, drop ceiling. What that means is at some point there was likely a leak, okay? Perhaps the bathroom above, or maybe it's coming down from the roof. And this shows that the guy that owned the property did the half-ass way of fixing it, right? He didn't actually redo the drywall. You just put a drop ceiling. You're covering shit up, right? So I can see that they're covering shit up. What is this guy covered up uh, over the, the rest of the course of owning this property, right? You see the drop ceiling throughout the whole main floor? It's in the kitchen as well, dude. That is covering up problems, right? You got to take a look at stuff like this when you're analyzing it. Other than that, though, it's just like a standard little rental, right? This could work. 
Good as a burr, though, right? Because that's 700 a month, brother. That's too low. We're not worried about that. I know that eventually we'll be able to renovate this thing and get it rented to a Section 8 tenant for about $1,000 a month if if it's a three-bedroom. It'll go up. It'll probably be like 1150 maybe even 12 if it's a four-bedroom, but I'm not sure if it's a four-bedroom, right? But it's okay. I did the whole numbers based on it being a three-bedroom, right? So... Of that thousand, right? This is I'm talking after this tenant is out. We'll get to how we're going to do all that, but you know, long term market rent, right? Thousand bucks, Section Eight neighborhood like this. You like the neighborhood, I like the neighborhood, but it's still a D class neighborhood, okay, brother? That's important. There's going to be risks associated with that. The biggest risk, of course, is tenants not paying the rent, right? So you got to alleviate that risk, put them on government guaranteed rent. And this is pretty close to the Metro Health Campus. That's why you like this neighborhood. That's why I like this neighborhood. Investing a billion bucks into that campus, the surrounding area. I think this is going to be a nice appreciating neighborhood, right? It's my favorite D-class low-income neighborhood in the whole Cleveland market. So I'm betting on this. But right now, we got to be smart. We got to alleviate them risks. So thousand comes in. I anticipate approximately four seventeen going out, leaving you with an average monthly average NOI of five eighty three. Now we're going to be, you know, calculating our fixed and variable expenses, right? So you see repairs and maintenance. You ain't going to be spending fifty bones every month, brother. What that is is eventually when someone turns over, we're going to have to do a couple grand turnover renovation stuff like that. You're missing your rent, things of that nature, right? So this is a, a fair estimate of performance, okay? As far as price, I do not think we need to buy it for $54,900. I would love to see you buy it for $30,000 because we need to do work to this, right? Right now, it's a nice little rental because I think it works specifically well for you, right? Because you told me you have about $50,000 to play with. To completely pull off this bird deal, I need you to save up another ten grand, dude. I need you to have $60,000. But the cool thing is... Right after you buy it, I don't need you to drop another 30 grand, right? I don't, it doesn't matter to me that you're 10K short because you could pick it up for your 30 if we can get them to accept that price and do nothing, right? There is a tenant in there. They are paying rent. If you buy it cash at 30K, they continue to pay their rent at 700. It will still cash flow. So you do not need to be in a hurry to spend your other 30K on the renovations I want to do to get the maximum rent. That tenant's been there over 10 years, dude. If they want to keep paying 700, just let them, bro. Just let them keep paying 700. Save up the cash flow. And eventually, when that tenant does move out, then we're going to do the reno. We're going to do a big old 30K reno. And what we're going to do, we're going to spend about 20K on cosmetics, okay? Fresh floors, fresh walls, fresh kitchen, fresh bath, all brand new fixtures, countertops, uh, uh, you know, Home Depot Lowe's quality stuff, all the fancy fixtures, agreeable gray walls. And then I have calculated another $10,000 of gotcha costs, right? Because we know we got a relatively new furnace. We know we got a relatively new hot water tank. So we don't have to worry about the 1K for the hot water tank. We don't have to worry about the 3K for the furnace. But, dude, remember all those drop ceilings, right? I don't know what the fuck's going on. But I tell you, you shouldn't see a drop ceiling in a residential house, right? So I got $10,000, you know, set aside for us figuring out where the real problems are, what was covered up, and us fixing it. So go ahead. Pick it up at 30 collect the cash flow as long as possible. Don't be in a hurry to spend more money, brother. But eventually that tenant will move out. Then when that tenant does move out, I want you to assume we're going to drop $30,000 on fixing any latent issues that were covered up. And we're going to have 60 G's into this property. And we're going to be able to get that tenant paying 1000 bucks Section 8 program. You're going to be cake, man. That's an 11.7 cap. And here's the best part. Just doing that at that time, I think it'll be easily very conservative easily go ahead and just get this to appraise at 65k you do that the bank will give you 45 back so that means you'll end up with only fifteen thousand dollars of your money in the deal it's a 31 and a half percent long-term return right there bro and that doesn't even calculate the fact that that other 10k that you're short that you're probably going to get that through cash flow uh from the tenant just staying there it also doesn't account for the fact that we may need to slowly just increase those rents right they've been there over 10 years they're paying 700 who's to say next year we can't get them up to seven and a quarter and then 750 the year after that but what we don't want to do is we don't want to immediately go in and say yo your rent's thousand bucks a month or you got to get out why you want to do that bro number one you're ten thousand dollars short to pull off this bird deal number two 
why the fuck would you want to not have money come in just so you could throw another $30,000 out here in Cleveland, bro? You don't need to do it, right? Ten-year tenant, man. That's freaking amazing, dude. I mean, if that tenant stayed for another five years and you didn't have to spend a bunch of money doing renovations, that's great. The only thing we'd really need to worry about is if there was an active leak, right? That'd be the only thing you need to worry about fixing while the current tenant's there. But I don't think that's the case. I'm guessing they fix the active leak, and then instead of actually getting some skilled workers in there to fix the ceiling the right way, they then did the drop ceiling because it was just the quickest, easiest way to cover up the cosmetics. Uh, if the active leak were to start again, you would see that uh, discoloring those ceiling tiles. We could go in knock that out and just leave the drop ceiling there, replace the, the old tiles with some new tiles, call it a day. You know, while you have a tenant in there, you would never want to do like a full-scale renovation. But when that tenant does go, brother, then we're going to set this house up, make it beautiful, and we got that $10,000 uh, to play with to make sure that like if, you know, the reasons for the leak, you know, maybe it was a bathroom, but maybe it was the roof, uh, and they just did like a little patch job, a little half ass job, well, we got that in the budget to go ahead and just redo do the roof or something if we need to you know big ticket items like that those are going to look great for you when the appraiser goes out there that's how you're going to get the price up we may be able to get it to appraise even higher than that 65k but i like to give you a nice little conservative estimate right under promise over deliver so because of all that I think this would be an awesome deal, and I know the price is pretty far off what they want. They want 54.9, but dude, it's been on the market 140 days. The tenant's paying below market rent. They got the ceiling tiles. It's pretty clear. The market has told these people, yo, dude, nobody's paying that price. We think your property's overpriced. And you could come in cash, let them know. We know we need to do a renovation. We know there's problems. Quick, easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Maybe they take it, maybe they don't, but that's what this is about, right? That's how burrs work. There's not just a million burrs with like $30,000 of equity just sitting on trees out here, right? We got to work hard. We got to negotiate with a lot of sellers, and we got to really try to uh, extract some value. And you don't get that every, like, you don't just, hey, Mr. Seller, here's my offer. And every seller says, yes, it doesn't work that way, right? We got to put a lot of hooks in the water, and eventually we'll get some bites. We may even get them saying no. Okay, they may even say no at first, but then they might come back to us, right? That happens a lot. You know, sellers get more fatigued the longer they're on the market, but that's why I targeted these people because they should already, that, sh that fatigue should already be kicking in, bro. They're already at 140 days on the market, so they should be pretty fatigued. So it's uh, not going to be 100% uh, guaranteed they do that, but that's how we do it, man. That's how we extract value. Uh, that's it, Ryan. So let me know. Reply to this email. Let me know if uh, this is the route you want to take. If for some reason you don't like my plan, give us the feedback. And uh, next time we do a video for you, we'll switch gears and we'll go that route. Everybody else, if you're watching this and you're like, shit, man, this sounds pretty good. I, I want to work with this team. I want to work with Holton Wise. I'd like them to set me up and uh, help me invest in real estate. Just go to HoltonWise.com up top. Click the property search for sale tab, right? And uh, you can go ahead and click the MLS search and analysis show, which is what you're watching right now. We have several packages available on that show for you guys to, to pick. So you just click that right there. And then the packages of varying price levels. I like the four-pack and the ten-pack packages, guys, because it allows us to work together for the long term of the long term rather especially you burr investors out there like ryan you know to successfully do a burr it, it takes a lot of work and it's not that easy so every single property that we try to burr you know the biggest thing is getting the seller to sell it for the price that it makes sense but sellers they're trying to get as much money as they can right we need to you know get distressed sellers do a lot of negotiations not all of them are going to go through it's a numbers game so that's why i like these big packages it allows my team to put the time and resources into you to get you properties at below market value that's all i got for today's show guys thanks for watching as always i'm james wise of holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world.
RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Good day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month so for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.